I wanted to start uh, with this picture. Uh, it's a picture of the Earth, which uh, probably not the best quality, not the most uh, resolution, but uh, it's very special, it's very significant for me and uh, my team, with whom we were developing the satellite project at the university. And uh, knowing through all of this time, it was uh, almost five years of development when it started from the dream of uh, launching the satellite, planning the mission, thinking what the satellite should do on the orbit and uh, how the mission should look like, going through all of the problems, uh, technical, political, financial, and so on, and uh, then having the hardware on the table, assembling the satellite components, and then uh, in 2018, uh, launch the satellite and uh, observe uh, the telemetry, the, the data coming from the satellite and basically receiving this first image that was a significant moment for, for us. And uh, I'm lucky because uh, it was not only one shot, it was not only one mission. It's basically my daily life today, uh, it's my career and uh, it's basically uh, my work, so I can even uh, get money for that, and it's uh, quite interesting. We are working on the projects uh, uh, not uh, only for the Earth orbit, but also for the Moon, for Mars, uh, for asteroids, uh, and uh, it's a pretty interesting job. And uh, I wanted to, I wanted to say how it all started. Basically, uh, for me, it started uh, um, when I was uh, 12 at school and I just felt uh, which subject was the best for me and it was physics. Uh, and it was uh, the easiest and uh, uh, the most favorite for me because it was uh, so nice that you don't need to actually remember the stuff, but you, once you understand, you, you are able to get uh, to the questions and solve the problem. And also I was very passionate and inspired by space. So that time I decided that uh, I would like actually to, to follow and uh, to develop my career or to, to work uh, in a space related discipline. And uh, at the time when I was starting the studies, it was only one university doing uh, space related studies. It was Warsaw University of Technology. And there was only one Institute Space Research Center where you can work in Poland. So, but uh, knowing that, uh, I was not uh, uh, discouraged. I, maybe I was a bit naive. I just said, okay, I'll just go for it and I'll see how it goes because I feel that I just like it and I enjoy it. Uh, today, today we have more than uh, 700 uh, entities. Uh, we have companies uh, here working on the uh, satellite components, working on the electronic components, working on the optics, working on the whole satellite missions, uh, companies developing the software, the software to process uh, the data uh, on the satellite, the software to process the data from the satellites, for satellite imagery, uh, the data from the GNSS receivers, so basically the navigation and so on. So. Uh, not only engineering topics, but uh, very broad. Uh, I worked in some of these companies today. I work uh, at SAB and uh, we are developing the, the space missions uh, and space uh, structures. And uh, uh, it was not uh, that, uh, like that back uh, in the time, but today you really have a great opportunity. The industry is uh, there. So, as I said, uh, mm, we basically joined the space community uh, in 2012 as a country and uh, uh, from now on we can say that we have uh, access to space because we have European launchers, we have uh, satellites, we have a satellite navigation, Galileo, we have uh, Earth Observation Program, Copernicus, and uh, we have also astronauts. So uh, today uh, we are part of this community and our uh, industry and our institutes can um, take part in most advanced scientific missions, 
but not only. We, uh, we really have a big profit from that and the space is accessible. And what I like the most about space is that it's very interdisciplinary. Uh, whatever, let's say, we can make a challenge after the session that you give me uh, some, let's say, position, job, background, and I will try to relate it to space. Uh, just to let you imagine, uh, our future is uh, for, for space, is also for uh, exploration and sustainability, uh, sustainable presence on Moon, on Mars. And today we need architects who will build the Moon and Mars villages. We need uh, biologists who will help us to grow food in space for the future astronauts. Uh, we have uh, medicine in space where we uh, we are not only looking at uh, how the body behaves at space, uh, how the space environment is impacting us, but also we are uh, developing the medicaments in space. We even uh, are able to brew a beer in space. There are these companies. So uh, not uh, only that, because we also have... Uh, there are lawyers who are discussing if we will mine some asteroid, then who will be the owner of, uh, uh, of the, the elements that, uh, that are hidden there, uh, and so on. So basically, whatever, uh, whatever you do, whatever stage you are, and uh, whatever is your passion, you can always uh, connect it to space and be a part of the space community. And you are very welcome to, <laughs> to be there with us. Uh, I said that the space is uh, getting commercial, it's growing, I mean, it's, it's visible through all the, let's say, decades. But uh, what uh, does it mean exactly? I think uh, we are not yet at the point where uh, the private company can, uh, let's say, do the asteroid mining mission and basically get paid for it or get profit for it. We are not yet there, we are heading there. Uh, what does it mean, uh, let's say, how we... Uh, understand the, the commercial aspect of space. So still today, uh, the biggest missions, uh, like scientific missions like James Webb that you heard, uh, moon missions uh, like uh, moon program, uh, Artemis to go back uh, uh, to the moon with the astronauts or uh, Mars missions, uh, or, uh, for example, the, the program for navigation, so GPS, uh, Galileo, and so on. Uh, these programs are mainly done by the space agencies. And uh, the reason of that is uh, the budget, the really high budget of these missions. And uh, basically, the benefit from these missions are gained for the community. Uh, so. Whatever, let's say, the company uh, is working, but uh, for example, ESA is not developing the satellites by themselves, they give it to the industry. They have the mission, but uh, this is the companies, this, uh, this is a commercial site which builds the components uh, for these missions, which builds the, the satellite. So that's, uh, that's very important, but today the, the whole mission let's say, uh, is rather run uh, by, uh, by the agencies. Um, also, the, another example, uh, the mission to bring the sample from the asteroid, there is Hayabusa mission by, by JAXA, by Japanese Space Agency. Uh, but there are the companies uh, still, let's say, to put the commercial side, uh, there are the companies who are able to develop the uh, constellation of the satellites or the, the satellites providing a service. So, for example, SES is one of the first companies uh, doing the satellite television. Uh, so their final clients are basically us watching the, watching the TV. Another one is uh, doing the Earth observation satellites and uh, the customers are uh, either the, sometimes the government, sometimes the companies uh, doing the application based on the uh, processing of the satellite data, satellite imagery. Another one is trying to be commercial uh, uh, with the moon project, uh, delivering a payload to the moon or delivering the data uh, of the composition uh, of the, let's say, moon regolith or basically the uh, moon ground. 
Um, and uh, the future is bright. Uh, we are developing the projects. Uh, unfortunately, the industry is quite slow uh, and very expensive. But uh, the reason to it is that we need to be really sure that, uh, that what we build, what we assemble, what we launch is really working space because we don't have another chance to repair it unless uh, it's Hubble. Uh, but uh, I just want to show you where are we heading uh, with our planning and the, the plans done by the biggest uh, space agencies. There are the plans uh, 20, 30, 50 years uh, uh, forward. And uh, I'm not sure that the, future will, that the future will look like this, but for sure is where we are heading. So we are heading to build the moon village and to have a sustainable presence on the moon. What does mean sustainable is not that uh, all the time we need something, the, uh, there is a cargo ship coming and bringing it. No, 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 we have to mine uh, and uh, the, uh, the regulate and uh, disassemble it to have a fuel, to have a water. We need to grow our food in space. We need to be able to recycle uh, all the processes uh, to have a sustainable presence. We do it also for Mars. Uh, in the future, and this is uh, not only to be there, but basically to create a base from which we can explore further. Uh, and other projects are to uh, gather the solar en energy in space and uh, to, uh, to bring it to Earth, so the green sources of the energy coming from space. We are uh, looking also into uh, asteroid mining. Uh, not only to bring the resources to the Earth, but uh, again, to be able to sustain in space and to go further. Uh, we are uh, having the projects to assemble the satellite, to service the satellite in space, to bring the whole manufacturing facility from Earth to space. And uh, it's just imagine that uh, you have a city or you have a country, and uh, the idea is just to bring the whole community with all of this industry, uh, with all of these uh, roles, professions, uh, daily life into space. And this is where we're we heading. And uh, this is our future. And I believe that uh, space is the next step of uh, natural uh, evolution for us, because not only we are explorers, but we also need to sustain. Uh, so that's why space is uh, really important. And uh, for me, I believe in this future, and uh, I believe that uh, it will happen. And uh, sometimes they ask also, uh, so how it's possible that the girl working uh, in space. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm an engineer, uh, not, because, uh, someone, not because no one told me that I cannot be. Uh, they, they told me, but uh, I heard, but I just didn't listen. So I was so much blinded by my passion, my, uh, my choices, that I just could not imagine the life without, uh, without my passion, without being in space, without uh, really doing what uh, I like. And uh, uh, this gives me also the, the fuel. I'm really happy to, to work uh, uh, in this industry because it's extremely interesting. And uh, my final message to you uh, is that uh, whatever you do, no matter uh, what you do, uh, try to find where what you like, try to be blinded by your passion, try to be humble in the way, uh, on the road to, to your goal, and uh, also try to have a lot of respect to the matter that you've chosen. And uh, who knows, maybe it's going to be space. Thank you.